welcome back to another episode of MagBack here in Tectorio. For this video, we'll be talking about the academic section of your MagBack, so let's just get into it. The first thing we have is the classes section, which contains all the classes you are enlisted in under this drop down. Selecting Join More Classes gives a list of all the available classes that are in your school, and you can either join or leave them. The lock symbol beside a class indicates that the class is locked, meaning that students in that class cannot leave, and students that are not in that class can't join it either. For classes that you are a member of, you can hover over the info icon beside it to display some information about that class. When you select the class, it will show an overview of upcoming events, deadlines, the latest activities of that class, and your teacher's contact information. In the Tasks and Units section, you can view upcoming tasks as well as a unit calendar in the form of a Gantt chart to see the start, end, and duration of the units you'll be learning across the academic year. You can search for specific units using the search bar and filter them according to their levels. For each unit, you can view the level, duration, month, and week it starts, and the number of lessons and tasks assigned for it. Hovering over the info icon gives some information about the unit, but selecting it shows more complete details with a description, transfer goals, essential understandings, inquiry questions, approaches to learning, learner profile, and assessment criteria. Selecting this drop-down here lets you jump through different units quickly. On the right side, you can view when the unit details were last updated, your teacher's contact information, and reference guides. Viewing all tasks allows you to find your upcoming and completed tasks with grades and comments from your class teachers, as well as a progress chart for graded tasks based on the IB grading system. You can choose whether to display a progress chart for the entire academic year or only the current term that you selected from this drop-down here. Click a specific task to hide or unhide them from the progress chart. For each task, you can view the task category it is in, its deadline, and its marks if it's already graded. There are several indicators to show the task status for tasks that are submitted early, late, or tasks that don't need you to upload your work, which are shown by a disabled drop box. Select the task to show its full details, Upload files for that task from this Choose File button, access tasks made from Google Drive, and post messages. If your teacher enables Turnitin, you can view the Turnitin similarity index for that document. The order of the task, task history, task grading system, and reference guide can also be found here. On the right-hand side, there is a mini calendar for the current month that shows all the deadlines for that class, task categories set by our class teacher that are color-coordinated with its weight percentage, and reference guides. In the calendar section, you can view events or task deadlines posted for the class in a monthly or weekly format. Hover over the small icon to access a task preview filled with information about that specific task. You can also subscribe to the calendar to get notified of these deadlines from external calendars. Meanwhile, in the messages section, ManageBack lets you view, reply, and give reactions to private and public messages from your class teachers and students or post messages of your own. You can also filter these messages by their privacy or category from the right side here. The Files section shows all the files and folders that were uploaded by your class teachers, including their file name, size, type, which you can see from the icons on the left, and modified date. Selecting Modified lets you change the order of the files shown, either starting from the most recent uploaded file or from the earliest uploaded file. You can then download these files by clicking on the file name. To search for a specific file, you can do so from the right search bar and filter them based on their category. Lastly, we have the Students section, which shows all the students in that class with their names, the date at which they join Matchback, and a green circle to indicate whether they're online or not. Your portfolio in Matchback helps you keep track of your learning progress as a student. All the resources, goals, reflections, and task submissions you add to your Matchback are shown in chronological order through a timeline. Search for them using the search bar or use the filter search feature to find what you're looking for faster. For resources, you can add files locally by dragging them or from your Google Drive. Add multiple videos, websites, and photos too. The date at which these resources appear in your timeline can also be altered from here. Goals in your Matchback appear under the Goals section in the form of a to-do list with their due dates shown. Select this to add a new goal, and with the help of a goal guidance, you can input the title, description, date added, and due dates for your goal. Once you've accomplished the goal, click the check mark and it'll remove the goal from the list. However, don't worry about losing it since completed goals will still appear in your timeline, or you can just expand this show completed goals. For each goal, you can add connections by selecting this button and choosing the approaches to learning and IB learner profile for that goal. You can also like it, add messages, share its link, star, export, edit, and delete a goal. Posting reflections is similar to creating goals and they even provide a reflection guide to help you. 
However, you cannot add due dates and a description is required. The Files section shows folders for all the IB core and subject groups containing all the files you have submitted for them, such as tasks and their deadlines. You can only add resources from files locally from your laptop or from Google Drive here. For each file, basic features like download and annotation are also available. On the right-hand side of your portfolio, you can access the Quick Start Guide, IB eCourseWork Status, share your portfolio with a QR code, generate your portfolio timeline in a zip file and download them, view your parents' and teachers' contact information, and lastly, check out reference guides. Did you know that you can find your semester reports on Matchback? Yep, you heard us right. In the reports section of your Matchback, it displays any report cards that have been generated by your school, including the data was generated and some reference guides. It even automatically downloads your report as a PDF for you when you click on it. One way to organize your academic goals for each term is through Matchback's own reflection section. Here you can navigate through the different terms of the year from the drop-down menu and outline your goals in a box for each term. In this one box, you can add images, lines, and tables to categorize your goals. You can then click Save Changes to post or update your reflection, or click Cancel to remove the reflection if it's the first time you're posting it, or revert back to your previous reflection. Again, the contact details of your homeroom teacher and advisor can also be seen here. Groups in Matchback are very similar to classes, but it's more commonly used for cast projects and clubs. Each group has their own description and the advisor's profile picture beside it. You can join, leave, and search for groups by their names and description using the search bar. Just like classes, once you join a group, it will appear on the left menu bar from which you can access them with ease. If you're a member of a group, you can post events, messages, and photos so that only members can view them. For watching we hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on matchback don't forget to leave a like subscribe and of course turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload see you next time